I mean, I guess let's get kind of switch gears on what's what is next for for Michigan. Oh, oh no, that's man. That the way, the way I feel right now. That's 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 tough to answer. And you you try not to get too emotional with it, but um, it, I mean, look, the, the the best thing. Gosh, that's really demoralizing, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> Because, well, it's you, tough you because, tell, because from the beginning, you got you got three games on on your schedule. Like look, really, they're seven and one. Really they can win out in theory. They can win out. Go eleven and one. All you say this all the time. All their goals are technically still in front of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, yes, you know, like like Harbaugh cannot let these guys go off the rails here. But you know, I mean, I, I guess the the hard part is offensively i really didn't think they did much wrong today you know in, in terms of their performance i thought some decisions were a little bit more questionable like when playing when to play jd or not but i actually thought offensively i was really impressed especially with the quarterback play from cade um no rico I, I, no rico i'm saying i'm emotional too like i'm just saying like it's okay to be emotional but just not to point the blame at everybody else Right at, at the reps and all that stuff. Being emotional is okay, but also realizing our our own faults and what we did as well. I'm not saying that I'm with you. I'm with you all the way. Y'all can't see my face right now. I'm really salty. Like, <laughs> I, I am hurt. I text Des. I don't even feel like doing the show. You know, like, I, I really I don't. But that I'm, was before. I'm, it was, yeah, dude. It, it's yeah, just <laughs> so you know. What's interesting is that you know I, I think offensively I really like where we're going. Um, I think defensively they need to address this, this substitution thing because now teams are seeing that and they're starting to expose us. And, um, yeah, man, I mean, you know what? And, and, and it's not one of those games where um, you go into the upcoming week like, man, we got killed. We got a lot to work on. I, I think this is one of those games where, yeah, we made a lot of mistakes, but um, – I think it's, you know, it's just situations, fight. man. Like you it's lost, not, lost, it's lost not even. Fight. I mean, like it's it, this happens. There's even as you being a Bama fan. I mean, Bama. The few it, it doesn't happen a lot, but you guys have lost dog fights as well. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes you got a big game and you want to lose an end of it, you know, but for a lot, yeah. of, a lot at stake, you know. And to answer your question, <clears> that's what's next. It's just you know watching the film, trying to and, and address the situational football and making sure guys mindset is still where it needs to be because you you at seven and one you can't we can feel like it's over it turns win the big 10 because we know what's looming over us with ohio state at the end of the season but they can't allow it to be that way um and you know i'll be very disappointed uh next week if they they don't come out uh i believe they have what maryland next week i got the double, I double check this guy. yeah i think it's i think it's maryland penn state Indiana than Ohio State. Right. You know, you know, I'll be very disappointed next week against Maryland if he if he's not if they don't come out locked in and and, and take care of their business. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. You know, you, you lost a tough one. You lost one, but it's terrible, but you gotta move on. You know, Bama has one loss in in the SEC. You know what I'm saying? They're moving forward. It happens. So we can feel the thing, I, the thing I would do is listen, let's shower, uh, let's you know, get back home. And let's go and root for Penn State, like because that's you yeah. know that that's essentially what you need to do. Yeah. Uh, you need to Indiana root for Penn State. Uh, hope that they you know beat Ohio State, and and you know it. it nonetheless, everything is still in front of you, but yeah. you know that that's that's what you need to do. Like you need to understand, like yes, this sucks. Like let's let's sit on this, let's chew on it, you know, for twenty four hours, and and you know talk to each other about how much life sucks right now. Cause I'm sure it does for them. It does. Um, it hurts. It hurts. You know, because you're you're coming in this game thinking that, you know, we're gonna already be eight no man and and undefeated, you know, top four team in the in the country. Like, yes, we're 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 thinking that. Um, so to go from that to you know where you are, and there and there was probably moments in the game where you're you're thinking that still, like third quarter, fourth quarter, like, mm -hmm. yeah, we're, we're we're about to be eight no. We're about to, you know what I mean, like. Of all the things that are that are in front of you, and then to to have it kind of you know pulled back, like I I get it, like that's tough, but yeah, you got to come out dialed in, because the last thing you could do, or the the worst thing you could do is to come out and be you know kind of lethargic against Maryland, and we and we've seen uh Talia Tonga Vailoa throw for five touchdowns in a game, like so the last thing you want to do is come out next week, you know lethargic and sleepy. 
and, you know, drop this game. And then what the hell? What if you do win out after that? You know what I mean? You go you go on to these games and then you beat Penn State, beat Ohio State. But because you you slept walk, you know, for a Saturday, you're you're not going anywhere. You don't go to Indy. You know what I mean? Like, so it's it's difficult, man. Um, it's difficult. Before I kick it to you, um, listen, while you guys are all here, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we definitely appreciate your support. We've got 322 people in um, right now. So we hmm. appreciate you being here. But uh, but yeah, Dre, go ahead. And, and uh, sorry, I kind of cut you off a little bit there. No, I mean, you know, Mr. Jones said it right. You know, got to stay positive. Absolutely. You know, like it, and today there was a lot about today. And, and so, it, it, guys, if you haven't realized me and, and there's a style, especially my own, you know, I, I'm not. When I give feedback on his team, it's it, I try to be as my goal is to be as down the middle as possible. I, I, because this that's how I like to hear things about my team. I don't want to be told how great I am, you know, right? Nor, nor do I want to be told I suck all the time, too. I would like to hear about a mixture of what is really going on, you know, and more importantly, when I have lofty expectations, which we should for Michigan at this point in the season. I want to know the things that can hold us back, right? And and so that's so as we talk about you know the game and trying to be positive going forward, there was a lot that went well, you know. Like it is is Andre, you know, I said Andre Anthony, you know, is he is he an emerging star for this team? And Joe glad I mentioned he's like, oh, I've got flashbacks of Braylon Edwards. I'm like, oh, oh okay, stop whatever. It. You can't Braylon do that. Don't, was don't six do that. Three. 220 pounds, the biggest guy on the field, and was yeah. a monster. Now, Anthony, this dude is gonna be really good. He's also a freshman and he's like five foot ten, like 180 pounds. Like, let's just chill. Let's yeah. chill on that. I, I just I think he was trying to just throw a bone to like Michigan fans, like a, well, an yeah, ode to, you know, I don't like, need oh, that. I, I know the history, y'all. I don't I don't need that. I don't need like, that. No. Chill. I I and the unfortunate part is I like Clyde a lot, like, but chill. No. Yeah, I mean, you know, like no, man. I mean, it's um, I, I, there, there's a lot, you know. Uh, K playing his best game at Michigan, you know, his career at Michigan. I mean, that you can pull pull that. I mean, I th look, Aiden made plays. You know, uh, D David Jabo, you know, man. Had, had two strip sacks today. You know, I mean, like, dude. He, um, I mean, there's just so much, man, that you can point to and say they 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 played a really good game overall. Overall, Michigan played a real good game, but so did State. And it was a dog fight, and the better team won. It is what it is. And you know, you may not you may not like the style of the other team. You may think that um uh that 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 the other team does things or we do things better, or vice versa, or whatever it is, but look, they came out on top, and um it's just it's tough. It's tough, you know. It's tough losing to uh, Sparty back-to-back -back years, 